Black is an art guide. We collect various amount of materials. We collect artist ephemera, performance ephemera, with a focus on performance ephemera. We collect artist books. Recently, we have a lot. We've had a lot of great people stop by and donate their materials. Like we recently collected purse spaces, um, a collection of purse space. Uh, they just moved spaces, so that was pretty cool. Um, also, um, art writer Michael Nethalty just dropped off a big collection of like his materials. Um, we also um, host K Chung's archive digitally, digitally on on our website, um, and um, uh, we. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, so we collect a lot of ephemeris materials and. Um, also, we're, we're moving to a new space in Chinatown, and all of you guys are invited. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pass it off to my colleague, um, Cal. Hi, everyone. Um, we're tonight going to be um, doing like a small reading based off of a book that's currently in production um, by Kelman Duran. Um, we do a lot of our printing, um, or we print books we've made um, maybe four in the last year. Um, along with the archiving and um it's just kind of a like an honor to like host artists to have them sort of be in residence and uh, i'm the one who sort of works with them to to print the book so as as kelman's gonna do a small reading um he'll talk just a little bit about the project and i'm gonna pass around um the master copies um and feel free to like thumb through them pass them on um and i'll collect them just at the end of end of the reading cool thank you yeah um, so hi, my name is Kelman. Thank you for having us. And I made this like really small book um, in collaboration with Laka and Cal. Um, and Hugo's also a part of it. He just like helped me conceptualize some of it. Um, and Haley kind of just like Haley Loman, who runs who runs the archive with other people. She likes to put people together, and she was just like, "You should print this." Um, so I, I'm, I'm an artist, but I also curate and I, I also do research. So this book is based on research about Pine Ridge uh, Indian Reservation in South Dakota, which I've been going to for like four, for four years now. I've just been working on the same project. And the reason I wanted to do this, this book at LACA is because LACA is an archive. And I'm basically making a video archive with friends that I've made there. Um, and it's really loose. It's just like the weather, the dogs, the politics. There's a lot of uranium in the water there. Um, and just kind of just like the situation there and trying to stay away from like the obvious depictions of poverty and misery that exist there uh, because there's other things that exist there. So this book is like a lot of it is um, archive pictures that I've doctored and a lot of it is, is about Anime Aquash who was a who was an activist from Canada that came down to Pine Ridge and she was murdered there um, in 1975 and her body was found in 1976. Um, so the book is just a, kind of about the cosmology and her death and the mystery surrounding it. Pine Ridge is really hard to get people to talk about anime because it was such a divisive issue. Um, families literally fought each other over her death. Um, so I'm just gonna read, it's, it's very short um, and it's extracts from, from different sources. Um, so here it is. Uh, anime and Nilak Butler fle fled to Los Angeles where they took a vehicle to Spirit Peltier and AIM leader Dennis Banks. Um, they headed north in a Dodge Explorer motorhome owned by actor Marlon Brando. Uh, March 1976, Sue, Lee, Sue elders say that the winds always howl when there's a murder victim. During the traditional wake given to anime picked to Aquash, the weekend of March, the storm peaked, sending 30 mile per hour winds blasting through the desolate fields and shaking the rickety jumping bull hall where the wake was being held. Aim is sharply divided over the blame for, anim for Aquash's death. Kamuk, Nichols, Banks, Russell Means, John Trudell, and Bob Ribodeau have stated that someone in Aim may have ordered her death, and others and that they believe Graham might have carried out the execution. Others, such as Peltier, Vernon Bellacor, and Dennis Banks, claim that the FBI intimidated witnesses, fabricated evidence, and planted media stories to create this impression. In either, in either case, the FBI clearly, 
clearly succeeded in their stated effort to disrupt, neutralize, and divide AIM. Awesome. Thank, yeah, thanks, Helmut. Um, and so if you are looking through the book, you'll notice that um, it varies in, in the size of the imagery. It, it, um, it balances sort of like text and image. It's sort of like a scattered approach. It's almost sort of like a, a readable collage of, of just life there. It, it has, um, it touches on everything from the mining that goes there, um, to the people who came in and just kind of like pilfered anything without asking to, to just sort of like richer sort of portraits of life on the reservation. Uh, we try to um, focus on projects that sort of have that kind of bigger scope. Um, for instance, uh, a book we just finished, um, well, we've just finished two. Um, one was in collaboration with the Mountain School. Um, it was a huge book. Uh, we have a table in the back and you can see it's like a really heavy book. It's It was uh, a lot of their um, applications. Um, anyone applying to this Mountain School, um, whether they got in or not, it, they're in the book. So it's sort of like a democratic look at the very selective process of choosing who's in a school. So it kind of evens the playing field for them. Another one we did was um, a collaboration with a, an artist named Jeremy uh, Kirikov, and he um, has an online archive where he collects ephemera and it's all digital and it's, it's ephemera, it's data, it's um, research for art that artists use for their um, practice. And we sort of made what his intangible archive was into a book form, tangible. Um, and it's, it, it was like a, a year anniversary. Um, so yeah, we are, we're working on this. We're, and we have just sort of a few other projects lined up, but, um, hopefully, uh, when we're all set up in Chinatown, you can pay us a visit. Um, we're, uh, happy to see you guys. And we do have like a, a, a real functioning press on, on a resograph that we got from, um, public fiction, and so we're a very active press presence uh, for, for an archive, too. So thank you, and um, enjoy the rest of your night.